know that that box is going to fit in here. I broke this knob in my grid. exciting episode of fishing for outdoors you guys can probably see it down below in the thumbnail and title and probably just seeing what i put into the old towel we're doing a little ice fishing unboxing today because ice fishing is just around the corner we got one decent sized plump box and we got one massive box to unopen for y'all so stay tuned i'm actually just driving to my parents property to pick up something in my storage container so i think i'm gonna just do the unboxing there or in the back of the Tahoe or something. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to clean some stuff out though. So stay tuned. We will see you guys once we get everything all cleaned out of the Tahoe. I'm six feet from the Alright. About to just stack everything up here. I should probably put these in. All right, y'all. I think the first box we're going to be opening is this littler one that says Euro Tackle on it. Grab my knife. Crack this sucker open. First initial look at the box. Holy crap, this thing is freaking plump full. There is a lot going on here. Freaking sick Euro Tackle sticker. Might have to throw this on the old towel. Holy crap. Euro tackle. Did you guys send me enough stuff? Dude, like, I don't even know how to come at this. All right, well, really quick, there is so much stuff in here. I'm about to kind of try to get it organized a little bit. Dude, this is insanity. Okay, so we just got all the lures out of the box and just kind of organized up here on my bed. Like, we got little piles everywhere first on the list y'all you already know we got ourselves some fnm minnows and it looks like they sent me about every single color in the fish and more minnow you guys haven't seen these yet these are the fnm minnows i actually designed this bait like three years ago now and they have just been putting a clinic on fish all over the country and just all over the world actually you guys seem to be loving them and because of that we actually got ourselves in stores like all over the country and even some stores in Canada. I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave a list down in my description of a lot of stores that you guys can go to your hometown and pick them up in. Some of the stores being Dick's Sporting Goods, Fleet Farm, Ronnings, Shields, just to name a few. I think that's pretty badass. You guys don't have to just order them online now. You can just go to your local store and pick some up. There's also tons and tons of like little mom and pops bait stores and gas stations that have them too. And if you guys know of any stores too, make sure to go drop them down in the comments for everybody else. But yeah, absolutely love this bait. Have gotten just tons of all kinds of species, big bluegills, blue, big crappies, big perch, just everything. Just like every Euro tackle soft plastic too, these things are infused with fish pheromones. So these baits just drive every species absolutely crazy. It comes stock at an inch and a half and you can also pinch it down to fit any jig. But yeah, I could talk about the FNM minnow all day. Let's go ahead and go on to the next soft plastic. Next on the list, we got ourselves the old crazy critter. And I have been using this bait for like seven eight years now i i absolutely love this bait this one's a little smaller bait it's just a little bigger than an inch and it's just just a little it's a little crazy critter it just looks like a little bug type bait looks like we got three packs of those we got some more soft plastics here another og staple bait by euro tackle the old blood worm this is a really cool bait i'll actually take it out of the pouch real quick i like using this bait for like finicky bluegills and stuff uh as you can see all the baits are connected all you do is take one of them and just pinch it off like that and just like the fish and more minnow too you can just you can pinch it to any size you want you pretty much just pinch it Ooh, there's a hair you pretty much just pinch it to fit any size jig you're using next on the list we have the Euro tackle leech this bait is even smaller yet and once again a big bait i like to use for like bluegills and just like finicky finicky fish this bait can be super deadly i like to use that one when i'm out like hole hopping and just like fishing really fast and stuff like that and then obviously whoa, for 
the soft plastics, we got ourselves the best ice fishing tungsten jigs on the market. These are Eurotackle's new ESR Nano Jigs. ESR stands for Enhanced Sonar Return, which basically means that like every sonar, whether it be like Live Scope, Garmin, Hummingbird, Vexlar, they made the shape of the jigs so that your sonar literally picks it up better, which is like super cool whether it be four feet a hundred feet it it just picks it up so much better and it's not all like flickery and whatnot it's just nice and solid if you know what i mean and these are pretty new baits uh they actually just came out with these last winter I think my favorite thing about them though is like the hook itself they got big nice wide mustad hooks on them so it makes it so you can still like actually hook into fish with a bigger plastic or something on there and the really cool thing about them is that the fish and more minnows fit like perfect on them next on the list i am pretty pumped about this next jig is called the spade blade this is a brand new bait to this year and this thing is absolutely freaking sick i don't even think you need bait to use this jig I'm actually about to take it out of the pack real quick bam look at that sexy sexy jig like i said brand new jig to this year this thing's designed in collaboration with jns custom jigs in euro tackle it's shaped kind of like a spade hence the name the spade blade not sure if you can hear but it's got little rattler in there and it's got those side blades for a little extra flash and clicking noise i'm probably gonna catch like minimum 100 walleyes on this thing on red lake this winter so look out for that they sent me like 10 packs of these which is really cool and they they also have two different sizes this year this one is the oh, one i was just showing you is the quarter ounce and then they have a smaller one that is 1 16th ounce these things are going to crush next on the list we got ourselves some euro tackle live spoons absolutely love these things for walleyes this is probably my favorite color for walleyes too believe it or not i actually love these baits for uh eel poach season they make a straight white like glow one in the same thing and <laughs> i absolutely crushed the eel poach on it but yeah also walleye pike everything next on the list we got ourselves some tea flashers once again walleye and also perch really love perch fishing with this bait take this one out of the pack too really quick i like this bait a lot a lot a lot for out hole hopping and stuff like that this bait's like super heavy it's full tungsten so it makes like hole hopping and stuff really easy you can go from hole to hole and drop down 20 feet just in a second i'm sure all y'all that are out hole hopping you guys know that like your line can freeze all the time when you're using a little too light of jig but obviously you don't want like a huge profile jig when you're fishing walleyes and stuff so that's like the main reason why i like these a lot they really don't do much as far as action under the water they do have a little like mirror or bucktail jig on the back but yeah strap a freaking minnow head or tail to the end of that fish it real fast and yeah really good really good whole hopping walleye bait Ooh, they sent me some micro ones too these are the real perch killers and and bluegill and crappies obviously too you can catch anything on these but i personally ain't a big like jig fisherman when it comes to crappies and bluegills i really like using little tungstens and just little stuff like that next on the list is another favorite of mine i have been using this jig since just forever for years and years the good old euro tackle z viber if any of y'all have seen any of my ice fishing videos you guys know that i love using rattle baits for walleyes the dance on this little rattle bait is just uncomparable to any other bait it is so freaking sexy and it drives the walleyes absolutely crazy they sent me a bunch of sizes they also have a this is the mini z viber it's just got the little single hook here and they even sent me some of the micro mini z vibers there for bluegills and the crappies and stuff before i get through all of this too by the way i don't even know if i mentioned this yet but i'm gonna be leaving a link down below to euro tackles website i'll also throw a promo code or something for you guys too if you guys see anything you like or need to stack up on some more fnm minnows head over to eurotackle.net or click the link in the description and yeah pick up some stuff it's almost ice fishing season y'all are probably running low next on the list we got just a big old pile. I'll grab a big one so you guys can see it nice. We got ourselves a big old pile of Z Darter V2s. Go ahead, 
take it out of the pack really quick. I fell in love with this bait last winter. Uh, it is a fairly new bait to Euro Tackle, by the way. I think they just came out with it last winter or the winter before, but it's like the Z Viber. I hate using live bait when I'm jigging for walleyes and stuff. So the Z Darter V2 resembles a minnow. So obviously fish are gonna freaking smash it. A few things about the Z Darter that makes it better than other brand baits that have like this kind of bait as you can see the front hook here actually has like a swivel in there a lot of similar baits like this it's just a regular hook like this and it tends to get stuck like in the eyelet here or on the head and stuff like that so with the swivel being here it never gets caught on anything and another thing is that the tail and the body is one whole piece on this bait a lot of other baits the tail and the body is two separate pieces so the tail like tends to like snap off and stuff like that pretty easily so with it being one full piece that tail is never gonna go anywhere unless you like break the bait in half three new color z darters too this year we got the goldie we got the goby and we got the pur purple tiger this one's freaking it's pretty flashy looking also they have three different sizes too one sixteenth ounce one quarter ounce and three quarter ounce i think that's pretty much it besides for i got another awesome little euro tackle tackle box these things are actually really cool you can just open one side like this or you take off the whole side just like this makes it very convenient i think that's pretty much it for that box we did get a bunch of euro tackle stickers too Dude, i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to open this thing in here next on the list yo we have a massive package this package is from my homies over at norfin you guys haven't heard of norfin before uh it is the the brand snowsuit that i wear every winter and have been wearing for once again years and if i'm not mistaken there's not even snowsuits in here i think it's just all awesome like accessories okay, so just gonna close my eyes and grab something first on the list no clue what it is let's give it a tear first item looks like we got a clean looking norfin hoodie Looks like it's gonna fit me perfect too. God dang. Hell yeah. I'm gonna wear that a ton. Next on the list. Winter collection. We got some mittens. They were actually telling me about these. These are the new extreme mittens from Norvin. They look freaking huge, but that is because there should be another pair of gloves in here. So this is like a two glove in one type thing. Whoa that's freaking nice what's this dang a little zipper right here i think the reason they made the whole two-in-one thing is because like obviously driving like four-wheeler snowmobile to your spot your hands obviously get super freaking cold so you want really warm gloves for that but when you're like actually out ice fishing and whatnot you don't want to be like wearing big gloves like this because you won't be able to reel and stuff so yeah when you're on your way to the spot you can rock these for riding across the lake and then once you grab your rod and it's time to go fishing you just take off that part and you got some nice little thinner gloves right here these are sweet i'm gonna be using these a ton and just like the euro tackle stuff y'all i'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description to norfin's site and you guys can go cop something if you like something that you see next on the list i think this is just another pair of gloves which is badass you can never have enough gloves and these look like a pair of just like regular gloves and dang they feel really nice like really nice looks like they got some nice hardcore heavy duty rubber like soles too next on the list this is literally just like long underwear or like a, a base layer if you will norfin actually makes a few different base layers but this is my favorite one it is called the uh this one's just called the thermal line two i wore these long underwear like every single day last winter and i absolutely love them and they keep you nice and warm next on the list oh this thing's badass we got ourselves an old school rabbit fur hat now, i don't know if i personally ever owned one of these but i've always wanted one i've seen people ice fishing with these kind of hats and i'm like dude that's gotta be so nice when it's like too windy and stuff protects your ears the back of your neck your face this thing's so soft too <laughs> This is probably the coolest thing I've unpacked so far. Next on the list. We don't need to take these out, but 
These are my these are my favorite pairs of socks. I already have a few pairs, but I decided to get a couple more pairs. These are 14M Arctic Merino Merino heavy socks. These are super awesome socks. They like form to your feet. They're really thick, but once again, they're not too thick, so your feet like don't sweat. They're nice and breathable. Yeah, love these things. Next on the list, this is this is a lightweight jacket it's a warm lightweight jacket this is the only like kind of snow suit thing i got if i'm not mistaken it's like a down material norfin thermal pro jacket oh yeah this is definitely some type of like down material oh it's even got the thumb holsters honestly though i'll probably just like wear this to like the movies or on a hot date or something like that that thing's sick i like it a lot last but not least on the list, we have ourselves a, a pair of boots, but not just a normal pair of boots. Supposedly, these are the warmest pair of rubber boots on the market. Looking pretty good, but I kind of believe them that they're the warmest boots on the planet. I already have a few pairs of boots by Norfin. Once again, you guys have probably been seeing me wear this brand for years. But like I was saying, I wear the Klondikes, I think they're called by Norfin. And those things are the warmest boots I've ever worn. And apparently, they told me that these boots are even crazier. So, yeah, had them toss me a pair right off the bat. These things are super comfortable, really light too, for how warm they're supposed to be. These things just freaking look hardcore. Look at how big the, I don't know what this is called, this part of the boot is. I think they make this part just so that you're like far away from the ice. That's like a big reason why people's feet get super cold in boots is they just don't have a big enough I don't know what this part's called on a boot, but they don't make this part big enough on most boots. Norfin does though. Then the top, they got a little elastic thing just so that you don't get any snow down your pant leg. Go ahead, put these back in the box. Well, I think that's gonna do it, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess, but we're going to end this video here, I think. One more time, I'm gonna be leaving some links down in the description. If you guys like any of the stuff I unboxed today, head over to the website check it out use my promo code and without further ado y'all love you guys stay tuned for some more videos in fact stay tuned for some ice fishing videos that's gonna be coming really really soon here and yeah love you guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed we'll see you next time